Striding out over land on the edge of Dartmoor, you wouldn't think that deer stalker Tom Davis recently lost a toe. Last year, March, I had a uh, accident of standing on a nail. Um, and during last summer, I actually spent five months laid up having three operations, one of them actually losing a bit of bone and uh, a toe. And uh, only just recently, I got a surprise phone call um, saying I needed to go back in for another operation for my foot, um, which wasn't good. It was only 10 days before the fallow and red season started. So it's, you know, it's knocked me back a bit, but today is the day I'm first putting the boot back on again. We're in. It feels good actually, yeah. although very tight because my foot's swollen. <laughs> but yeah, feels good. So my advice, don't stand on nails. <laughs> they make them tough out here on the moor and they make them confident. Tom has asked Ollie Williams to help him with an agricultural pest problem. <laughs> he explains to Ollie what he reckons we will see. We were out going looking to cull some um, red stags. Uh, this particular valley we've got red stags coming in and um, they do crop damage every year. Um, it's always an issue as the stags some are there in their bachelor herds. Um, so our main target today is some coal stags. Every year they come in on the, on the crop. There's maize there at the moment um, and they're coming out and actually grazing on the wheat. Um, but it's not just the grazing they do, they also lay down in there. I mean, there's one there, it's been there this year's sixth year being that valley. Um, and he's, you know, he's a very nice stag. And uh, yeah, he's still got a few years left in him yet. So, which is good. Hopefully, you might see him this evening. Recently, we've had a, a unicorn roadback been passing through, um, which is, you know, hopefully, if he's there tonight, I don't really want him there because um, there are some nicer roebucks there. Um, so, if the chance comes later, we'll, um, yeah, we'll look at taking that one as well. Um, but our, you know, our main target is the red because they are the ones causing the main damage, really. It's got, it's got to be a bit of imperial stag, or you know, we're going home. You know, no, but. I'm excited to cull to cull some uh, some problem animals today because that's why we're here. You know, there's there's some there's some stags we're doing damage to damage to the crops, and at the end of the day, deer management is about managing the deer, not just shooting for the best heads. It's early season for reds. They're still in velvet, but as Ollie says, this is a management cull. It's also a meat operation. Tom runs a venison box delivery service, which you can sign up to online. And it's intriguing for Ollie because Dartmoor may only be in the next door county, but it is surprisingly different to his home patch in Cornwall. Well, Dartmoor just you know, when you when you think Dartmoor, you think big, big stags, big you know, um, big deer populations, and, and big, huge areas, which you just don't really get in Cornwall. It really is big country. big country for big animals and Tom has been watching this crop closely in recent weeks. As a result he's confident we will see multiple reds tonight. And then the other evening when I come up with a the thermal there was one, a uh, three just here. Similar time, of, similar time of day? Yeah, 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 in between half past eight and yeah. quarter to nine. Cool. They've been coming out. So quite quite late do you reckon that's because of the heat? And I think, think, yeah, due to the heat they yeah. are coming out a bit later on. Yeah. Um, same as us, you don't want to be out in this, do you? No, no. Um, so she's moving around. Um, you can just see the maze down there. Yeah. It's where they're also causing the damage, and that's where they're actually living at the moment. So they're just coming out the maze, coming yeah. into the wheat? Coming up through, yeah. yeah. We yeah. stalk slowly up to the edge of a wood where there's a high seat. Tom and Ollie make themselves comfortable. But you know that thing about deer. They just don't do what you want, and not a single animal shows itself. As we walk off the hill, Tom spots a glimmer through the thermal. It's on the horizon, but it's livestock on a far hill. Dartmoor is big enough to play tricks on you like that. The next bright spot Tom sees actually is a deer. It's a roebuck. We um, spotted a roebuck chasing a doe yeah. down the bottom here on the edge of the wheat. Um, so we'll just creep down the fence line here using the dung as our cover. Yeah. Um, I've got the buttons over my pocket, so we'll... Um Give it a few beeps and see if we can get that to come into the call. Yeah, you can see them jumping around over there. Yeah. Um, cool, that's really interesting. I've never, I've never, I've never actually never called a roebuck in before, so that'd be great. I mean, seeing that happen, it gives us some yeah, bit of hope, hope there. It will work.
That worked all right. Yeah, well, he took some stuff in there, didn't he? Well done. Thank you very much. <laughs> I enjoyed that. That was, uh, he, cause he literally kept getting, he stopped there, yeah. and then he stopped in front of the dung, so had to move again. Then there was another pile of dung. <laughs> all right, Tom? Yeah, they're very good. Yeah, happy with that. How's your leg? It's all right, actually. Yeah. It's really well, it was supposed to, it was it was supposed to be a stationary high seat, but we ended up actually doing, doing a bit more stalking than we. I think I'm ready for a job now. <laughs> yeah, that was. A... He was saying to me at the beginning, that was your first. That's your first real walk since surgery. Yeah, that's yeah. the longest walk I've had. Yeah. yeah. They go and pick up the buck. A good, good one to shoot as well. Look. Uh, so looking second year, this one coming through. Um, you see, a lot of people say these are murder bucks, but they're not murder bucks. So he's second here, this one, um, young animal. So as you can see, it is actually a good one to take because he hasn't got no tines growing at all. Um, so yeah, very good car animal. Um, he was chasing that doe around a bit. Um, so I don't know where the other bucks are. Um, but yeah, definitely a good car animal. And uh, good shot. Yeah, so you can see. On the spot. So yeah, it's completely um, straight there, isn't it? Yeah, he's got no thread at all. So there's a little bit of something there, but you know. Definitely a good animal to take out. Um, you don't really want that passing his genes on. So yeah, good job done and good timing. For more about Tom's guided stalking and his venison box service, find him on Facebook or Instagram, Dartmoor Deer Services. And you can go both game shooting and deer stalking with Ollie in Cornwall. Visit cornishsportingagency.com.